If you don't mind, I was just going to get a bit of an update. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your presentation at uh, in December. Yes. I had a breakfast. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to get caught up and, and what are we Well, so far what we're doing is this is what we call a brand camp week. And so yesterday we concentrated, what do you want Kenora to be known for? And of course this whole branding thing is not about logos and slogans, and that's really important. It's really about what do you want to be known for? What's your second act, you know, after timber? You know, when you lose one industry, what are we moving into? And Kenora is like Muskoka and many other places across Canada that once they've lost a core industry or that primary industry that they're founded on, they say, What's, what do we do next? And so for Kenora is actually transitioning more into a tourism, uh, economy where that was always part of Kenora because you're famous for cottagers and look at I mean look at what's around you here with one of the most fabulous lakes in all of North America and but now it's like jumping in with both feet you know because the days of bringing back the timber industry are over the days of trying to recruit big industry to rural communities like Kenora are those are we're in a global economy now you can't compete and it's like uh, Canmore, Alberta, they lost their mining industry and they became a great tourist destination near Banff. Um, same with Muskoka, which was also known for timber and, and once they lost that industry, they transitioned into a tourism economy. It's worked great for them. And so that's the same with Kenora. And so yesterday you concentrate, well, what is that brand? And then today, which is, uh, what is today? What, uh, Wednesday, uh, we are gonna concentrate on product development. Um, so what's the product that backs up? Because brands, you know, are also about an experience and the, it's not just about advertising. Um, all brands are built on product. And then the next day, the last day will be marketing and then Friday morning we're going to actually tell the community, here's where we're headed. Uh, to give you a little scoop, I mean there's no question that one of the greatest assets that Kenora has is like and can Kenora become Canada's premier boating capital with 10, 12 boating events a year? Now, the challenge with that is highly seasonal. So now, that might be what brings people to Kenora during that peak season. Now, what can we do with Kenora the rest of the year? Can we become a festival city where there's all kinds of festivals? And not that you're going to produce them all. Can we invite the car clubs, the motorcycle clubs, the quilting clubs, that, that where they want to come out, writers, writers retreats, all these different kinds of things where people come out for two, three, four days, they learn something, they're in this fabulous atmosphere here, you know, and we have a lot of work to do to do that. I mean, we need uh, probably some higher end accommodations. Uh, we need to do something that's different than what people can do closer to home to Winnipeg. And probably the biggest thing is that we need Kenora to be more than just catering to Winnipeg. Winnipeg is about a million people. And if 25% if of them are into boating, and all 25% of them come here over Lake Winnipeg or any other lake or any other river, that's still, you know, uh, you know 250,000 people a year in the summer. And so is that enough? So we want to make sure that Kenora is a place that's worth a flight to from anywhere in Canada or even the States. And so that's where we have to go beyond boating. Boating is that foundation, but what do we do beyond that? And by the way, with the boating, one more thing, is this is for, as a passenger, as a competitor, rowing competitions, you name it, or as an explorer. You've got 14,000 islands that are ready to be explored. Name a place anywhere on this continent that has that. So that's a pretty good foundation, but now we gotta say now. So we got them here, they're out boating, at the end of the day they're coming into Kenora, there better be something to do after six o'clock. And that is what we're working on today. Or on a rainy day. Or on a rainy day, yeah. What do you do, how do you get boaters here this week, next year, if the weather's like this? The ice is already gone, and so we don't have that foundation for snowmobiling or anything, and it's not a sunny day, and so now what do we do? And so we have to have that backup. You might be known as a boating destination, but what else do you have so I would go there when it's not an optimal boating day or week? And what's your sense of how things are going? Terrific. We have a great, what we call a brand development committee, BBC. And this committee is made up of about 15 people from Kenora that represent the public sector, that represent the businesses downtown, uh, tourism, hotels, you name it, and they're in there and they're working. We're working hard. This is, these are eight, ten hour days of nailing this down.
Yeah. Because sometimes you go to the meetings and you get the sense that there's a bit of a log jam. Well, and there always will be, and you can't do branding by public consent. If we ask everybody in Kenora what you want to be known for, we're going to get a hundred different ideas. And you know what? Have you ever gone anywhere because they had something for everyone? We don't. We go to places that are known specific stuff. We go to Stratford for Shakespeare. You know, we go to Niagara on the Lake for what it is in that great little community. Uh, you know, we might go to Barrie in Ontario for its nightlife over there. Uh, Muskoka is going more with a learning brand where you come up there and it's based on the arts and cottage living. You know, so Kenora has to do that. You have to narrow your focus and, and the more public you make it, the more of a log jam you're going to end up in. Any last, last words before you let you go? No, I think that's it. It's going to be an awesome process. Um, and this is something that Kenora will be living with and working with for 30 years. You don't go around changing what you're known for every every year, every two years, or every five years. This is something that will be stick with you for the next 20, 30, 40 years, maybe beyond. So a lot of time and effort's going into it. Well, thanks. thanks.